so when benzene reacts with bromine in the presence of FeBr3 it forms bromobenzene so in this reaction a hydrogen atom is substituted by a bromine atom is substituted by bromine atom basically this reaction is example of electrophilic aromatic substitution so electrophilic aromatic substitution So in this reaction Br plus is the electrophile basically this reaction can also be done in the presence of bromine and iron this will give bromobenzene so basically Fe and bromine reacts and it forms FeBr3. So in this case we have to take bromine in excess so that some of the bromine reacts with iron and it forms FeBr3 and some of the bromine is left. So this is same as Br2 FeBr3. So mixture of bromine with Fe is equivalent to a mixture of Br2 plus FeBr3. Now let us discuss mechanism of this reaction. The first step is generation of electrophile. So we have to first generate electrophile generation of electrophile so electrophile is the Br plus in this reaction FeBr3 acts as Lewis acid so you see FeBr3 has only six electrons so this is a electron deficient compound so this is a electron deficient compound so it will act as Lewis acid so we will use FeBr3 to generate electrophile so FeBr3 reacts with bromine and this time bromine will act as Lewis base and this is Lewis acid so this is acid base reaction it will form complex so this lone pair goes here iron will have a negative charge so we will have this complex now if you see this complex so due to this positive charge this bond gets polarized this side so bromine bromine bond gets polarized so this bond gets polarized 
or we can say this bond becomes weak. So we can break this bond this side and we can generate electrophile Br plus. So we will have FeBr4 minus and Br plus. Now this Br plus in the next step will act as electrophile. So we have benzene ring and we have bromine plus. So benzene ring will attack and it will form sigma complex. So this step is slower step because we are losing aromaticity. So this is loss of aromaticity and this complex is called sigma complex. This is rate determining a step also. So in the next step we will lose H plus to gain aromaticity. So we have this intermediate and we can lose H plus so that is minus H plus and we will have bromobenzene. So this step is faster step because in this step we are gaining aromaticity. So this is gain of aromaticity. So this reaction involves one intermediate and this is sigma complex. And we will have two transition state. One transition state for this step and another transition state for this step. So let us call this is transition state 1 and in this step we have transition state 2. So we can draw the structure of transition states also. So what is happening? This bond is breaking and carbon bromine bond is forming. So in transition state carbon bromine bond is forming and this pi bond is breaking. And initially bromine has full positive charge. So it will lose some positive charge and this carbon will gain some positive charge. So this is transition state 1. Similarly we can show transition state 2. Now in this case this bond is breaking and this bond is forming. So we will form pi bond. So pi bond is forming. So this bond is forming. And we are breaking carbon hydrogen bond. And carbon bromine bond is already formed. So this bond is breaking. So we will have some positive charge over this hydrogen and some positive charge over this carbon. So these are two transition states. Basically we can show breaking and forming in this case also. So carbon bromine bond is forming. So this bond is forming and this bond is breaking. So carbon carbon bond is breaking. You see at all point of time octet of carbon remains complete because the loss of bond is same as formation of bond. So octet of carbon octet of carbon atom always remains complete always remains complete. That is we can say rate of bond breaking is 
is same as rate of bond forming so rate of bond breaking is same as rate of bond forming now we can show potential energy diagram for this reaction so on the y axis we have potential energy on the x axis we have reaction progress So, first step is the slower step and the second step is the faster step. So, we will have this kind of transition state, this kind of potential energy diagram. Now, this is transition state 1, this is transition state 2 and this is the intermediate. So, we can show here itself, we have transition state 1, so this is transition state 1 and we can show this one here that is transition state 2. So, this is transition state 2 and we will have intermediate also. So, this is the intermediate. Intermediate is basically resonance stabilized. So, one can show resonance stabilization of intermediate. So, resonance stabilization of intermediate. So, intermediate is resonance stabilized. So, we can show another resonating structure. And then we can show another resonating structure. So, we have three resonating structure for intermediate. Similarly, we can do chlorination. So, if I have benzene ring and chlorine FeCl3, we will have monochlorinated product that is chlorobenzene. We can use any kind of Lewis acid. So, Lewis acid used is not only FeCl3, we can use AlCl3, we can use ZnCl2, we can use BF3, we can use SnCl2 or SnCl4. So, these are the Lewis acid generally used. Now, this method of halogenation is only true for chlorination and bromination. Using this method, we cannot do fluorination. So, if I want to get monofluorinated product, we cannot achieve this one. Similarly, we cannot do iodination. So, FeCl3, Lewis acid. So, we cannot do iodination and fluorination using this method. using this method monochlorination and iodination cannot be done. So, we will discuss separately how this can be done. 